What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, there's been some more uh, updates on what happened with uh, Bray Wyatt and his cause of death. We know it was uh, he suffered a heart attack, apparently, but uh, TMZ was able to find out some more information on what led to that heart attack or that cardiac arrest. Um, once again, it's so weird how TMZ gets all this information, and a lot of times. They're pretty accurate with the information that they do get, and sometimes they can be wrong. So you may want to take this with a grain of salt, but we, uh, we got to check this out. Somebody uh, had hit me up, uh, I believe, on Instagram and on Twitter saying I needed to, you know, discuss this or whatnot. So we're definitely going to check this out. Uh, appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Let's get right into this. Bray Wyatt died during nap. Wasn't wearing doctor recommended heart defibrillator. Uh, defib relator uh, i've always had a tough time saying that word um wwe superstar bray wyatt experienced a series of heart complications in months leading up to his death and a doctor recommended heart defibrillator was not with him when they found his body tmz has learned according to law enforcement uh, records obtained by tmz Wyatt, real name Wyndham Rotunda, told his girlfriend he was going to take a nap Thursday, and she became concerned when she heard his alarm going off uh, about an hour later without stopping. The report says Wyndham was discovered in his bed, not breathing, um, and was turning uh, blue. Wyndham's girlfriend called 911 as her mother attempted CPR. But he was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Cops spoke to Wyndham immediately. Family members who uh, said he had COVID in March of 2023 and developed heart complications, causing him to have a weak lower part of his heart. In fact, just a week before he died, Wyndham was hospitalized for a heart issue. He had um he had a follow-up appointment with his doctors the morning he died and was advised to continue to wear an external heart defibrillator, a device designed to treat people uh, experiencing sudden cardiac arrest. Though it's not known that the device would have saved his life, investigators determined when him uh, was not wearing the defib at the time of his death, they later located it inside his vehicle, uh, his vehicle parked in the driveway. Damn, man. So uh, potentially what it was is he, uh, he was having heart complications. He's been having heart complications, which is an understandable reason why he took a took away, you know, took a step back from WWE because, you know, being in a ring is a very intensive cardio uh, type exercise. So, you know, your heart is constantly just going. So I understood why he took a step back, but. He was having some heart complications after uh, catching COVID. Doctor recommended him a defib to wear or whatnot. And I'm guessing maybe he forgot to or whatever the case may be. And um, maybe the defib could have helped him when he took his nap. But when he closed his eyes, that was it. Like, that's that's wild. Like, he literally took a nap. I'm pretty sure he's thinking everything's okay. Took a nap. And never woke up. And his defibrillator was in the car. That's so... It, it, even finding that out is just tragic, bro. It's just tragic because... It could have been a simple thing of maybe he just forgot. I don't, I don't think... I'm not going to assume that Bray just was like, Nah, screw this defib. Because obviously if the doctors are recommending it, it's for a good reason. When, when you're talking about your heart... Anything heart related, that's why Triple H has to step away. He had his heart uh, episode as well, so he stepped away from the ring. So obviously, I'm sure he took it very seriously. Maybe he just forgot. He forgot I was there. You know, got tired, wanted to lay down, and he never woke up. That's ah man, that's it's so tragic, bro. Like, and then his girlfriend to find him like that. I know that that kind of that had to be traumatizing for her. Like, you don't ever think like I just woke up from a nap. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Before I, I turned this uh turned the camera on and started recording, I literally took a nap earlier. I was just, you know, I'm one to rest. So just imagine for you guys out there that like to take a nap or are able to take a nap, you just take a nap and you don't wake up. And then your family finds you dead. 
my man, bro. This just makes it even more it just saddening. Like this was if he if he would have had it on him, maybe, maybe he would still be alive. Who knows? It's not a for sure guarantee he would have been alive, but maybe his chances would have been that much greater if he would have remembered to have it on him. It's ultimately, it's just sad all the way around. Um, once again, rest in peace to uh, Bray Wyatt, a.k.a. Um, uh, Wyndham Rotunda. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, woo. It's just sad, bro. It just truly is. Um, also, like I always say, like me and Dub say, you got to put things in perspective. And hopefully, uh, you know, some of you guys are able to put things in perspective. Life is very short. We say it all the time. It's very short. It's very fleeting. Enjoy it. Live your life. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about the petty beefs. Don't worry about the petty drama. Live your life. Enjoy it while you can. Because there's, there's really no rule book on how your death is supposed to go. No one would have thought. Bray himself, I'm sure, didn't think I'm going to take a nap and I'm going to die and I'm not going to wake up. No one thought that. No one thinks that. So that's why I say it. Death is it's just so quick and sudden. So that's why I enjoy your life. Enjoy it to the fullest. Be with those that you care about. Be with those that you love. I do this because I love to entertain you guys. You guys have essentially been able to to put me in a position where I don't have to work at nine to five. And this is my nine to five. Whenever I wake up, I'm working on content. And I do this because I enjoy it. And I'm trying to make the best out of the life that I have been granted. And I want y'all to do the same too. So if there's a passion you got, go for it. Don't wait. Do it. If you're trying to lose weight, go for it. Go to the gym today. Don't wait. Do it. Because there's going to be a point where you can't and you won't have that opportunity. So that's the message I leave to you guys. Uh, this is the update um, that uh, TMZ was able to find. Once again, I don't know how accurate it is, but they are pretty spot on when they when they break news like this. Um, rest in peace to Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda. Prayers go out to his family and friends. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.